Jeff and University, welcoming you to Craft Roulette, episode 22, in which the wheel gets a good spinning, and we get a, some fun crop, or some fun, um, projects to do. Uh, this is a craft game show, yay! <laughs> and it is a, it's a spin in the fun direction. We, um, we never know what we're going to be doing each and every Friday night, and it is always fun to see you here. If you are here, please share us, and maybe you know somebody that likes to see somebody else put themselves in a pickle every Friday night. Fearless. Fearless. Uh, not really. I'm actually a fairly timid person. So, anyway, it is fun to have you. Um, it's kind of a nice way to start your crafting inspiration for the weekend if you get that luxury of being able to craft. Uh, we've had a lot of fun here. Last week we had a great guest. What was I calling her? Guest craft artist, Jama Malmi, and her friend Gail is here from last week. And she did some great projects. And she was, I was just saying before the show, she was such a good sport. And it was so fun to work with her. Thank you again, Jama. Um, all the question, you, somebody can ask me, are we going to have anybody else? You can ask me. When you ask me, then I'll answer. But until then, we're not going to talk too much about it. Hope you have had a great week. If you are new to us and you're not sure exactly what Craft Roulette, the ultimate game show is, let me give you a little explanation. What is Craft Roulette? Craft Roulette is a paper crafts game show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for. Project, Colors, Element, and Random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. While we try to keep each episode under an hour in length, the fun doesn't stop there. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to submit your project at craftroulette.live slash submit. See your work featured on next week's episode and on craftroulette.live. Back to the show. And that's the story and I'm sticking to it. We have made a lot of changes as we've gone along. This originally started as live from my mesk. Mesk is a messy desk. It's my hybrid word where I am right now. And then Saturday mornings, I got tired of getting up Saturday mornings. I was already up in, on Friday evenings, barely some weeks, but still I was already up. So it just became it more feasible to be here with you on Friday evenings. And so that's what we do. We have some giveaways coming up, so stay tuned for that. But before we go too much farther, I want to show you some of the submissions. Did you see that you can submit projects? Well, there were some really good ones that came in last week, and I want to show you. Will you join me at the submission board, please? There we go. Oh, that's mine. Um, the Down at the bottom, it has a little list of what our four parameters were, and our project were two random cards. Well, now that gave us a little bit of a... Hello, my goodness, in 40 minutes, that's fine. But we figured, mine are very simple because of that. We used cool colors, which is usually blues and coal, and grays and whites, things like that. Our element was a wreath. And so there's a lot of interpretation that be, can be done in all of these projects. So, such as my interpretation is a circle with a little kind of a scribbly wreath inside. And then to use a random thing, um, was pencils and it could be graphite or it could be um, watercolor pencils or it could be uh, colored pencils or whatever pencils you happen to have and you don't you get to decide how much you want to use of each and every one of those so um, that was my first one it was a gatefold card that was my second one and I used a whole another stamp just and did a little uh, watercoloring on it with I think I used pencils. I can't even remember. And then I came back and added some little sparkles, which made it a whole lot better. It was kind of playing Jane card there for a while, but it was, it turned out pretty kind of, kind of, kind of pretty kind of. Okay. So that was my second one. Here is my third one. I ended up drawing one. Um, this one was just 
uh, I wanted the cool color, so I did the blue, and then I did draw the rest. I, I just doodled, it's just doodle flowers, but they were, I thought they turned out kind of pretty, and I have somebody special to send that to, so that was, that's for her. This is Jameis. This is the one that she was working on Friday night, and she has so many details on here. She was, she was just working her little hands off to, down to the bone, but she it made a beautiful card. She ended up making a shaker card, totally blue, cool colors with a, pop, a little pop of pink and yellow, which is just fine. And then um, she, for the wreath, look how in, she interpreted that. She had the circle, and then she had the little leaves coming out. So that was a very clever, clever way to do it. I think she used the pencils to color those in. What a pretty card. We all loved it. This was her second card. She really rose to the challenge and sent in three cards to for me to show. Um, Christmas, are you ready? Oh my gosh. I know some of the gals I was talking to this week um, on campus were making Christmas cards for soldiers, which is admirable because I cannot think that way. But she, I love the colors choices, the cool colors in this. Um, it was some gold, very, very elegant and pretty. All those splatters, lots of detail, lots of really clever, um, quiet, quiet detail. Well done. Kiss your brain, Jamie. We got one more from her. Hey, Kim. This is another Christmas card and look how pretty it is. I think that's a die cut. I'm not really sure. But what, I love the background on this. I just think it's a gorgeous background. She did a she pulled it all together to make a very, very effectively pretty card. And it was really fun to have you once again. We hope to have Jama back someday soon. She hopes to come back too. This is from Judy in Michigan. Uh, she has a very elegant taste and, and she sent in not two, but four cards. So these are her first two and they are so pretty. I think the die cut on there is just so elegant and with the cool colors and then the pop of gold. It, it just made a very, very beautiful um, card. And then she also sends stamps the inside and is kind enough to send me the inside. So nice touch. Judy, it's, I haven't seen her come in here yet tonight, but I hope she does. She might be golfing. This is from Amy in Illinois. And look at it. She made a wreath using stamps, a stamp stamp. <laughs> and that can get a little hard to understand. Sentence diagramming anyone? But how cute is her little stamp stamped? wreath. So, and then she did a little, I think it's just darling. Then she did a little guy out on the pier with his big catch of fish. And I, to me, I looked at that and went, is that his fishing line underneath that card all tangled up? It would be mine. But Amy, thank you so much for sending in your two cards. It'd been, it'd been a kind of a dry spell. We missed you. So it was good to have you back. Sue has been real faithful lately, just going and sending cards every week. Um, this was a really precious little, look at that cute little wreath. I love her focal point. She always has a bow or a ribbon. She's got the little floating bow there. And uh, it's just a cute little card, just sweet and precious. I, I think it looks like it might be a five by seven. I'm not sure. But um, I think she did a great, great job to keep things cool. It does feel, have a nice cool feel, even though it's not blue, blue at all. So and she's got the inside too. Nope. Nope. I lied. She, this is another card. This is her second card when it's closed and uh, definitely cool. Even though it has a little bit of baby pink on there, it uh, still works as a very cool color. And there's that bow. Can you see it? It's kind of hiding, <laughs> but she's got her bow on there. By golly, she's not about to uh, miss that one, but I bet you've seen it by now. Let's see what it looks like when you open it up. It has a button and it says life is good. So uh, real cute. I think that's real cute how she has the two different colors on the circle. And then it po it worked with going the other way um, in on the inside and the outside. Kind of a cool little trick. Very clever. Well done, Sue. This one came all the way from New Zealand via the internet. This is from Lauren Moore, who is uh, faithful. She is always here Saturday in her world. And uh, she had these cute little critters and they're both tags. I think they're darling. I love how she jazzed it up with a real subtle uh, white glitter paper, which makes it just uh, stay cool. Definitely has a cool feeling and um, but still makes it a little bit jazzier. She did a great job coloring. I love it. I think they're very cute. We're going to see these little critters again here in just a little bit. This is Patty's 17th week in a row. Give her some love. Oh, you're welcome, Sue. Give her some love. Look at these cute cards. Um, she, I really like 
I'm going to pull this down. My little thing doesn't work. You are here. Yay. Um, I really like how she used the blue colors for the background, then turned around on the bottom card and used the blue colors for her foreground. That was a very, I mean, it still is the cool blues, and it just shows a lot of variety of, of ways of thinking about a card that you don't have to get stuck in one, one rut. I do, but sometimes you don't. You don't have to get stuck in a rut. You can and you can change it up. Look how clever that is using a circle doily for a wreath shape for the giving you the feel. I love it. It's just so cute. Yep, beautiful ideas, aren't they, Janet? Oh, what? Let me go backwards. Let me go forwards. Let me go main. Let me go back. I got a snag in my giddy up. I'm okay. Hang on, hang on. I'll sing a song. No, I won't. Anyway, it is fun. While we're getting our technical things all figured out. Um, oh, let me try it now. There we go. It's back to Judy. I think it was confused because Judy sent in four cards. Yes, not two, but four. And look, more elegant, beautiful wreaths. I think those I must be die cuts. But they're so pretty and... Um, feel kind of fallish to me. I'm not sure if uh, we're already moving that direction, but th doesn't that feel fallish to you? Oh, get a little chill in the air. Rose, it's a coming. The cool weather's a coming. Here's the inside of Judy's pretty cards, and she stamped some little flowers in there and bloom where you're planted. Not a bad idea. I know I'm planted pretty firmly, and so here I bloom. Thank you, Judy, for all those great cards. This is from Jackie. She's here tonight, so give Jackie some, some um, hearts there. These are really just charming little cards, and they're one of my favorite sentiment, which is thinking of you. I, I love to do a thinking of you card because it's for anything. And then the inside, you, I'm a writer, so I like to um, go on and on and on, kind of like I do when I'm reviewing cards. But uh, Jackie, thank you so much for sending such pretty cards and different sizes. Who knew? I never thought of that. And here comes our last two cards from Christy. And here are those critters again. She's got, a, hers are brown. Um, Lauren's were gray and these are brown and I love that background on it and she just has it as a circle which with a ring and that's the wreath and it's one of those creative um, interpretations which is what or which is what craft roulette is about it's just a creative exercise we don't teach anything much here <laughs> or anything but we do a lot of creating fun so Christy we are thanking you for sending this cute card and our last one Mr. Moose is here in the wreath, and he says he's just for you. Well, he's about as cute as they come, and I think he's adorable. See, now, I always think blue for cool colors, but that totally works as a green. So she pulled it up. It's a bluish green. It looks great. It's just, I think every one of you did a beautiful job, and I so appreciate that you would send take the time to follow the, the parameters and send in... Um, there's my cursor and send in cards it really it's always fun on saturday and sunday when i get my little email and say oh craft roulette submission and i go oh good i get to see what it is but i also i don't look right away because i want to process it all at the same time so i have to wait too but not as long as you do yep they are cute cards aren't they sherry yeah we need to so we'll see what the wheel is going to do for us tonight mm. I don't know. I haven't, I didn't check the list. There's four lists, as you probably know. I'm trying to see if there's, there we go. Okay, here's the four lists. And I didn't change anything this week. So hopefully I'm not going to get all surprised. I, I should check that. I did. Oh, well, there's all, always a lot of things to do in life, right? Let's give the wheel just a spin to see how it feels tonight. There go the super glue guys, giving themselves, okay. It didn't, it wasn't too peppy. It's kind of like an old tired horse tonight. Um, but that's okay, I didn't, uh, maybe it was the spinner. It could be, I suppose. But before, hey, I wanted to show you something. Let's go down to paper cam here just for a minute. 
These are the cards I want to give away tonight. They're kind of fun. I want to just make sure that you saw them and that we are going to give away some cards. They do have a little surprise inside. I'm not going to show the insides. You get to have it when you get them. Um, I am going to do three giveaways tonight for um, little cards and a little surprise inside, but I think they're pretty fun. I just made these out of scrap um, pattern paper. They are textured by, by an embossing folder added some sequins and a few little little dewloppies. These this one I put the liquid glass or whatever that is, that kind of stuff um inside this. It looks and I did add a little glitter. I did run over a lint brush to get the loose glitter. And then this one I also did a little liquid glass just as a glaze over the smile. So, it's kind of a fun little trick. And so, let's see. Hmm, let me think here. Maybe We'll go ahead and go over to the wheel. We'll put these over here so I don't forget. And I'm hanging on. Hi. I'm going to switch. Me? I know where mine is. I can do it. I forgot I had that on my my um my little do lolly, my Mr. Producer. Okay, are we ready? <sighs> Let's see what we get tonight. Who? What does anybody want? Anything in particular? Huh, I don't know. I am ready to spin. For our project. Ooh, th way up at the top. Oh, a birthday card. Oh, that's a nice thing. I like that. Does it, I like birthday cards. I have a little girl I need to make one for. Colors. Maybe I'll get little girl colors. She likes pink polka dots. Eight pinks and blacks. Oh my goodness, I know what I'm gonna get to make for. Oh, you want subway tiles. Um, element. What will be on that birthday card? Oh, clear at the bottom. Sunshine. Oh, one time she's um, gonna be five, and one time she said I was sunshine and unicorns, I think, and glitter. <laughs> I, I thought it was high compliment. And random. Oh, number one, back at the top. A distressed edge. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I think those are pretty good parameters, you guys. I think we can do something with it. Um, pink and black, you could do you could do primarily black with a little pop of pink if you want to do a dude card. Um, if you want to do... And sunshine, you can even do... You know, there's a lot of the stencils and... Um, embossing folders with sunshine so that might be a real simple thing to do you could also do it with some papers piecing um distressing edge can be like sponging with an ink or you can rough it up if you want and then birthday cards well we all know what a birthday card is you loved all the cards yep <laughs> and you love glitter all the time that's right kim glitter all the time okay so let me think. Well, I don't have anything exciting for a design. You're, oh, yeah. Sue likes pink and black. How how about... Okay, I know I have... I know I have an embossing folder. Isn't it an embossing folder that I have that's a sunshine? I think so. I think it's an embossing folder. I sent her, this little girl... Yeah, it is. Um... A story about Kerwin and Boomer today that are animals, our twin, our twin animals, <laughs> except that they're born two years apart. One's a cat, one's a dog, and the dog weighs 50 pounds more than the cat. Other than that, they're twins. No glitter. Oh, you don't like glitter. That's right. Well, we won't send you a glitter card. Um, so I've got my Sunny Studio Sunburst. I'll go down to paper here. I've got this little folder. I think I can use that pretty easily um, for my sunshine. I might even do that in pink. That could be pretty fun. Uh, then I can always edge distress whatever kind of focal point I have. Um, and birthday cards. HBD, she's just she does know how to read. So let's see. If I do a if I do a this way. 
a landscape card. I can have a base down here with a happy birthday. And then I could even offset the sun. That might be kind of pretty. Like that. Um, and have that in pinks. I think, I think I would like that in pinks. And then if I want to distress the edge, I'll just bring it in a little bit. And maybe a little bow for, you know, something like that right there. And then, I don't know, maybe... I don't know, maybe draw something. <sighs> okay, that's one way. And then we can do this. And we can similar do a similar design except up and down portrait instead of landscape. And do the little sunshine here. Could do pretty papers. That might be, you know, I always do a couple more more projects there after the show so you may be surprised there may be some paper piecing ooh and um, another pretty bow right there could have some ribbon and from that ribbon you could have a little tag that says HBD she's surely a very hip child and um, may, this would be cute like with some black and white polka dots down here we'll just do that so I know what I'm to remind myself. Wouldn't that be cute? Black and white polka dots and pink sun. Um, little edge distressing. Shh, shh, shh. I could either sand it. Probably sand it. I might, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking I got something okay. What are you guys thinking? I don't know. I think I'm okay though. I think I can do this. I think I'm glad I have this. You know, it's every once in a while it's that moment where you go, oh, I do have something that I can work with. <laughs> It's been my life, my recent dream um, come true when I see new stamp sets coming out and I go, oh my goodness, I already have that one. And it, so what if it's 16 years old? It's basically the same. So it's been really fun to have my a really well-developed collection. Do you all have well-developed collections? <laughs> That's one way to say I'm a stamp hoarder. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't put these on the wrong side. There we go. All right, well, let's get, ooh, this would be pretty in, um, you know, let's try some watercolor paper. I've been watercoloring lately, and uh, I think that might be something that would be fun. Let's try it. I had all these little pieces falling out, so I just put a little clip on it and shut them all in there. So you sit, stay. Let's see if I have a scrap here that would work beautifully. I think this one would. Okay, we're back to paper cam. I don't think this is going to be a, a project that needs a, one of the tall guys. I think this one's going to be just fine. I think I'll run this through here. Let's see. If I jam that rammer jammer up there, then we're going to only get this part, and that's going to be fine. I'm going to put it over to the side. I can always try to ram it. Okay. All right. Back to the main cam so you can see me at my exciting, exciting die cut machine. My shim is always just a, a little... Um, doubled up piece of cardstock. I'm going to do it in and out burger. Kansas City's going to get Whataburgers. Are you guys Whataburger fans? I just saw that today. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we're getting it. So, oh, Ariel's here. How fun. You're still at work. Hmm. Okie doke. And Lena, Marie's here. Oh, yes, that's right. Marie won't have any hatred of any any kind of glitter. I'm going to go ahead and get this a little wet. Oh, it looks like my brush is dirty, so that's good. But it's dirty with pink, so that's even better. So we'll just give this a little wash. Kind of like Boomer gives me a little bath in the morning when he sees me so excited. 
I'm not going to make a big fuss out of this process. I'm just going to make it so that it kind of flows a little bit. Oh, this will be pretty. I've never had a Whataburger either, so, but I know that when people go to um, California, I think, the Southwest, they, they make a trip to Whataburger. So, we'll see. I have so much glare, I have to look up at my screen. <laughs> Get a little bit of pink going up there. So we have a couple ombre things going on here. I think that's going to be just fine. Maybe just a little bit. Just have a little streaky. I want that to run a little better. Get some blotches going here. It would be kind of freaky if the sun if the sun was pink. But wouldn't we all look like we had a nice rosy glow all the time? That's not a bad thing. Yep, they're kind of. Okay, well there's one way to do it. Oh, you don't care for what a burger? Oh, In and Out Burger. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking about, Patty. They're all the same. <laughs> it's, I, but what a burgers are something I don't know. What a stamp! <laughs> I'm gonna let this hasten the drawing process here. You don't think I'm missing anything? Then I shouldn't go stand in line at the beginning. <laughs> all right, I won't. I will heed your warning. I'm gonna, I have these old tiles and I just plop something under there. Hopefully I won't forget them. It could happen. Okay, so that's one. Let's, I'm gonna do two because I think I've got, I think I've got a hold on this. So <laughs> let's just see if we have some pretty pink paper. We do. And I'll cut into a new piece. So, get me down. Uh, that's this one is for this idea. Let's see. He's going to be tall, so let's make this about four inches. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it five and a fourth, so it's a fourth of an inch smaller. And then just put an inset of dark, of some black and white, if I have it. So in and out is good. Now, Connie, you're from Kansas. Have you ever gone up to um, Salina and had a Cozy Inn hamburger? Oh my goodness. There's nothing like a Cozy Inn hamburger. Well, so much for me making this that way. We're gonna make it this way. Okay. It is just the best. Now, you know, when you're wa working on your projects here for your submissions, which I hope you will do, because it's just so fun. You and people that do the submissions are so encouraging to everybody else. Uh, you can add extra colors. That's not going to be a problem. It's just that you mostly have to have the pink and the black. Yes, you need to go to Cozy Inn. It, it's the best. We used to... Um, <laughs> my friend Chris and I in junior high would rent a tandem bicycle on Saturdays and we would I would always ride in back so I wouldn't have to pedal and she would pedal us to downtown Salina and we would go to Cozy Inn and we would take buy them by a sack is what they'd say we'd buy them by a sack and then we'd take them to the park and eat them and it was it was good times we were easy to please I am a measure, I, I measure by bending and creasing. Works for me. 
<laughs> you like it because it pushes you out of your comfort zone. Well, that's good, Jackie. Because we're all about pushing people. We often talk about on, on campus how we stretch you, how you have to wear loose pants because we stretch you. <laughs> when you least expect it. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. We've got a couple little things that need to be used, so I think today is the day. I'm just going to put some double-sided adhesive on the back so it can catch the ribbon on the back and hold it in where it needs to be. I figure if I'm going to be pushed out of my comfort zone, everybody should go with me, right? Because <laughs> this is... I, I, actually, I'm usually pretty comfortable here. I may be so comfortable, as a matter of fact, that I have forgotten something. And that is this time to have a giveaway. I showed you those great little cards, but then I haven't offered a giveaway. Now it is time to put your number 1 through 24. Only enter one time. If somebody has your number before you get it, sorry. We will be spinning the for the wheel on the wheel to get the whoever gets the prize. We have been not getting first first turns at all lately. But um it is time to give away one of those cards with a little package of goodies. There's some numbers coming in. We still have about 30 seconds left. So come on and get those wheels a get those wheels a turning. Oh, lots and lots of numbers. Have fun. Oh, Sherry's got her tradition. Oh, we got a couple of 18s. Three 18s. Or were, there was that one time that 18 was very lucky. But if you see that somebody else has had it, you still have time to put something else on. Hi, Joanne. I don't believe I know. Have had the pleasure to meet you. How nice. Hi, Julie. Ready? It says it's time to spin. I gotta move my paper. Okay. How about we'll spin this time for the Miss You card? Because there's people that we haven't seen lately, aren't there? Okay, here we go. All the best to you guys. Numero uno. Do we have a one? Jan Palmer. Oh, that's a seven. Nope, never mind. No, she wanted a seven. <laughs> what? Look at the wheel. I'm confused. Look at the wheel. It says seven. It says seven. You've got two sevens. What? Jan Palmer has seven. Did anybody have one? I see there are two sevens. No, you didn't spin one. This is a seven? <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy making bloopers around me. It just is. Okay, who has seven? It's a Jan one. Jan one, and I get as we say around the house, get the white socks. Mom's ready for the home. We'll make good luck with me getting that to you. No, really, I, Jan. If I don't have your address, <laughs> will you please DM it that to me and my brains? If you see my marbles, go ahead and send them too. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, back back to what I can do, which is craft. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I wonder if I can make a teeny tiny bow. I don't think so. It's not, it's not being very... Yes, this is an ancient close to my heart ribbon. Ancient. It's time for it to come into its use. Yeah, it's too fat. I don't like that. So let's change it up and we will fold it together like this. I hope none of my family saw that except for my son over here. They will be calling in the, as my aunt would say, the booby hatch. Okay, so if I have, if I have a Brad, might as well see if I have an old, old Brad. And I'm not talking Brad Pitt, but I could. You know, I don't think I, maybe I won't use a red. I wonder if this would work. I have some washi tape. I wonder if I could wrap that around. Never done before on live Facebook. 
I'm going to cut it up the center so it's thinner and just wrap this around. You know what would be cute, since this is going to be for a little girl, is to make a ribbon that could be put on a little, it does work, a little um, bobby pin or something so that she could take it off. You know, you could put the little thing right there. Okay, so that, that did work. We can put that right there. But I don't like the way it looks, but at least it holds it in place long enough to put a little gem on it. There we go. Little gem. <laughs> a little staple, that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this washi tape's from. It's old, too. <laughs> Everything's old that I have. Ugh. It's okay, though. You know, as a scrapbooker, <laughs> I realize how old my clothes are, though, you know? You see those, you see closing, oh, my stars, I've had those a long time. I think I'm going to put another glue dot underneath this one, so sit stay like a good puppy dog ribbon oh my gosh it loves me oh it just loves me so much stop it there we go all right yeah that's kind of pretty you know and i can put some shimmer on there i think that might be kind of pretty here we go then we just need a happy birthday down here so let me put that aside for right now because i'm not sure what i'm going to do on that and i'm going to start this because Two cards is not that hard to make, is it? Not sometimes. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our Sunny Studios Sunburst. And this time, I'm going to go up, up the middle with a really bright pink. I know she likes polka dots. Her, she requested a polka dot rocket from her dad, and um, he made her one. So... I wonder if I could put polka dots on this. There may be a way. There we go. Darling little pink polka dots. I wonder if I... Have I lost all my ability to read numbers? That's what I'm really concerned about. I'm just really trying to concentrate here. <laughs> so, okay. So if we have this and we add the sanding block... Oh, I forgot to distress the edges, so we'll distress them with this. It's that fourth thing, you know, it just throws me over. And this is white core paper from Close to My Heart, so you can see the white showing through. Now, if you don't know if you have a, a solid core or, um, which is the opposite of white core, where the color goes all the way through, there's not too many. Black is my favorite one to have a solid core. Because when the white shows with the black on the side, it's, it's a little upsetting to some. And I don't like it necessarily. So, Well, there she is, Judy. Yeah, we all enjoyed all four of your cards. I'm glad you made it. Whoops. Nothing like sending scissors well we got some pretty good we got some pretty good um, parameters are here birthday card pink and blacks sunshine and distressed edges you love the sun it's a good little stint or embossing folder I think hmm I'm trying to figure out how to make this pink polka dot but I think instead of trying to make pink polka dots on here Let's do one other little thing. Instead of using ribbon, let's make this in, have some white polka dots. That should work. Maybe. And then we'll mat it on some black. Oh, there's a stamp on there. I <laughs> wonder where that's from been laying around for a while I don't I don't recognize it this is just regular 
think it's white. Yep, white craft paint. A staple. And this is an old block that I forgot to clean in time, and so it got all stuck. So. Oh, well, you got to do what you got to do, Judy. We're going to make polka dots here. It won't be. I guess I could have done it the other way with pink polka dots on white. That would have been, that's what she wanted to rock it. I wonder if I could draw a little rocket going by. So it looks like, oh, that's a big blob. Let's go the other way. Oh, that's not so pretty either, but we'll, we're okay. If they get too messy, we'll just make them banners or start over. Oh, <laughs> like this. Stop, straight up. Yep, as long as you don't slide it too much, it's okay. That's a big hot mess. Let me get the rest of this off. Sherry, am I going to get into the, everything? You love these parameters? Cool. Cool. I do too. I'm pretty excited. Let's see. So, if, yep, it's just going to get that corner of that blob. So, okay, then if I cut this black paper, that's like almost a half an inch. Let's make some black paper that's about three-fourths of an inch. And we can just stick that right there. Well, I gotta go with the rays there. And then that's gonna go on top of that. That'll be cute. A little different, a little different. At least I haven't seen one of these like this. So maybe it's not different, but I think it is. See if I can line it up a little bit on the grid. Yeah, he's coming up over the horizon. Oh, red in the morning, sailor take warning. I'm just gonna go right on top of here instead of going on the back of that because that's still wet. This would have been cute in a different color pink too. But it's the way it is now. Okay, looking kind of cute there. Oh, that looks fresh. I don't want too much black. It's for a little girl. This may be for an older girl. Do I want a little mat or do I just want it straight? I like the mat, but I don't want the mat. Um, nah, it's just too old. Too old makes it old. Oh, I only have one piece of that. Shoot. Oh no, wrong pink. Okay. Here's some brighter pink. We can do that. That keeps it fresh. Okay. That's a go. Houston, we gotta go. Shoot. Where is that side? <laughs> okay, let's flip it around. This is how you do it when you, you don't want to work with something that's wet. Who said darker pink? Yeah, Jackie, you were reading my mind, girl. I can always trim it up. Looks like I'm going to have to. Darn, my gluing skills were pretty bad. Get my little doohingus out here and get rid of this. Get the glue balls off. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll just do a little wrap up there, a little ribbon wrap, and hang a tag on it that says happy birthday or some such thing. Love you to the moon and back, except that's not the moon. Love you to the sun and back, which is even farther, which means I love you more. I think it's farther, isn't it? I don't know. Super moon. At least we haven't had all those super moons that we did for a while. Moon has never been this close to the earth. Moon will never come this close to the earth anymore. It doesn't want to come. So I'm like, stay away. Who would want to go there? Okay, we gotta trim him up just a little bit. I made him a little fat. He ate too many custards. 
tree fits real nicely now. Okay. It's kind of a goofy card. I thought, I think it was cuter in my brain, but that's okay. Many things are. Do you ever have that? When it's cuter in your brain? Mm. Hey, Melody, I was wondering. I hope you haven't been at work all this time. We're glad that you made it. Sit back and relax, girl. It's Friday. Okay, so let's find a little ribbon or a little baker's twine or something. I have my drawers divided into colors of embellishments. It just makes my life, it works for me. A little, a little teeny tiny piece of waxy flax. I would not give it to just anybody. Oh, brother, why did I do this? No problem. You just think it's a problem. It's not a problem. Okay, we're going to go ahead and tie a little knot down here. Like you so. <laughs> Hello. Chew that one up. A dark shimmer brush pink around the dots. Ooh. I'm going to have to think about that one, how that would work. I'm not opposed to it. Just have to think about it. And then if I have a little black tag, what should it say? I'm just not sure what it will say. I think I'm going to make it look like I tied it on. I'm not going to, but I'm going to make it look like it by, not this one, by punching a hole. And then slicing it, and so it can just fit right inside there. Just like that. Nobody's going to know. No, the ladder is different. And then we can put a little dark pink one. Also, do the same trick. Ah, that's going to be a little long. Pull the tooth. There it is. Okay. Now you can see it again. You could use polka dot washi tape. Do I have some? <laughs> Julie, I like that idea. That's a good idea. Do I have some? I don't know. I think I might. Here, we'll stick that on there. Oh, look how cute that is. Do I, maybe I want this up at the sun. It's kind of hanging over and so you can't see. Okay, so let me put something on there then. Huh. Polka dotted washi tape. If I do, if I do. Not a bad idea. I've got an arrow. Hmm. Not, not. Oh, look, there's some little sun or little stars. I wonder what those are. Let's see. What are these little stars? There's some little houses. Oh, these are not good. These are not what I want at all. Nope, nope. Back it goes. Rejected. Sorry. Maybe another day, dude. Definitely not those. If I had some little stars, that would be cool. I don't. Um, okay, so a happy birthday. HBD. Little tiny. How about a white pen? Might just do it this way.
There we go. I'll go back over that in a little bit. I had some polka dots and then okay so then oh and I know I know I know third one then can be a white piece with some pink polka dots is that what you meant no no I don't know okay all right here's a little piece of paper fancy that I had a piece of paper okay so then we'll trim it So, okay, who else is going crafting this weekend then? Oh, you love, oh, Melody, yes, they were very cute, weren't they? Oh, and Connie likes it, oh, the trick, that little trick. Okay, probably had some white with gold polka dots a few years ago. Probably, probably. I think a black polka dot washi tape, though, sounds like it's just a good idea for somebody to have. Kind of a go-to thing. So now we'll make some pink polka dots. Her birthday's next week, so this is very timely. And then I just wipe it on the eraser at the bottom on the on my little washcloth. Okay, well that's the same color ink as the paper. So it should look okie dokie, all three together. I may have to arrange these. I don't know, where to put that guy? He should be over. <laughs> he should be over there. Get in your place. And then this guy should, nah, I don't want him right against that black. Okay, he's going to be on top. We wrestled, he won. This, if I once I get these in place, then we're good. This card's good to go. Yeah, that works. It works. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Janet's doing fabric. Ah. Oh. It's just fun to have something to do with your hands, isn't it? Stick some adhesive under here so they stay in place sit stay there we go oh you don't have any kids there but they've been there all week so oh and you've got boys in rugby man that is a rough sport lauren how fun okay well that's card that's one card and then we've got this and he needs just a little something here. But I don't know if I have the right paper for that. I know I've got some gray, but I think that's not the right paper. I, th I think I have something in mind, but I don't know if I know where it is. So I don't want to wreck one of my cardinal rules, which is don't you don't go and spend time finding paper on the wheel. Um, because it's just a, I could, I could go, I can go down and start looking for paper and come up five hours later and have not done anything I wanted, but have enjoyed looking at every little piece. You like the white with the pink, Jackie? Cool. Good. Oh, we got dresses to alter. That sounds horrible. <laughs> oh, that sounds hard. But I do want some little, I think I have a little, you know, like... Like this kind of stuff. But I think that's... Oh, well, we've got this. Could I make... Well, well, hang on. Hang on. I'm not done. Almost done. Let me get a little piece of white paper. Or, oh, let's do... No. Yeah. Let's use some white paper. Which is just looks like a has been chewed up by a bird. What the heck? Where'd this come from? I wonder. My bird. We used to have a, 
cockatiel, cockatoo, cockatiel, cockatiel, and he, uh, he just loved, she just loved chewing paper. And I, every once in a while, I still find a, a piece of paper that you can see where she just <laughs> along the edges. Okay, so if I put some pink stripes, because I've got my pink paper here. Has anybody asked me if we're going to have guests again? I don't, I don't think I saw that. Maybe you don't care, but it was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? You think we'll have guests again? <laughs> so if we do that and then we use this and we do a little, a little diagonal or yeah, I think we'll do diagonal. <laughs> oh, wow. You must be good then, Sherry, to put yourself through college for that. That would not have happened. Yes, guest, Janet says. Okay. I hope we have more guests, Kim says. <laughs> surprise us. Yeah. It would be a surprise. We are talking to several very nice craft artists about becoming guests on Craft Roulette. So I think it's coming. I'm not sure when. We have... A little bit of learn more learning to do because we learned a lot on that first one but uh, we have a little more learning to do and, and it really does take a little training and um, surprisingly different amounts of things have to be discovered so yep they're they will be coming I think it will be so fun this boy I'll tell you what Stephen said to me this show is going to seem like a breeze after having a guest and it really is <laughs> it's just me talking to myself like usual with my little friends there we go which is fun so fun wouldn't it be fun if we could all just get together and and have a big old time but we do we do we have our own version right here i think instead i'll just tip that over So, oh good, I'm, I'm glad that you liked it. I think, <laughs> I, I have not even watched it. I was a little nervous about it, so I haven't watched it again. Usually I watch the shows the second time and uh, just make sure that everything was okay, but I haven't watched last week. Plus I've been busy, but. I wanna make sure that I don't do silly things. Too silly. This is gonna be kind of jolly down here and then then we'll have a place for, this will just be, I think you're only going to see just a little bit of this because the happy birthday will go on it. Look, I picked up a hitchhiker. Oh, I picked up two hitchhikers. Oh, well. And hitchhike they shall always be into the galaxy with me. We are doing it, doing it, doing it. Are you guys getting some ideas? Who Who's going to send in a submission this week? Who is feeling the inspiration? That's kind of interesting. Not at all sure I like it. Looks like a party going on. You are right. It is a party going on. <laughs> I'm not sure those two go together at all. I think this is too soft for that big noise. I do. I think that's just way too. It might go better on something like this. Give me that chewed up piece of paper again. Your brain has some ideas, but you need some more coffee. Yeah, that's right. It's morning for you, right? Lena might have some. Ooh, Melody, Patty. Patty, yes, Patty will have an idea, I'm sure. Jackie's got an idea. This is exciting. If you can find your mask, it's, right? 
Oh, Kim, I believe in you. I do. Well, you know, I always do three cards, so this may be my third card. And uh, I got to distress some edges here, but that's okay. I do like this crazy party thing. Party. I'm going to a baby, a little boy's birthday party tomorrow. He's turning one. If you guys know Terry Howard, it's her grandson. And um, he's turning one. So it's a zombie party, <laughs> which I have no idea. So I'm going to go as myself, and that's scary enough. And, you know, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, I like this. This will be my third card. I will finish it for Monday because I'm not quite sure what to do with it with the sunrise. But I'll, I will come up with something. Connie, you think you have something? Cool, that would be great. Connie makes beautiful cards. I'd love to have some, see, lots of them. Patty's working on her card right now. Holy smokes, girl. <laughs> you got to find your mess too, Sherry. It's, it's, that's sometimes the biggest problem, isn't it? Okay, I'm not going to put my adhesive clear at the top because I may stick a sun, a sun up there or right inside there. Like right here, half a, half a circle sun. Right there. Ch -ch -ch -ch. This, yeah, this is too gentle. This is too gentle for that party. Party on the paper. Party on the paper. It would have been a mistake. We've, I, I do have one good card that I, I'm pretty happy about. And so this will be a third. What happened to that? Did I put it away? Weird. Okay, we can start distressing at least. That might make it a little softer looking too. Definitely. You know what I could do is just do this one in white then. Like a happy birthday in white. Since it's a little softer and I might come back in and put some shine on, some shine. Let's, let me find um, a happy birthday stamp. I have my stamps all categorized. This one is in sent. This one's sentiments. And I knew I had that one. And I know I. And there are some other that are some pretty plain, but but solid, very solid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which, but it does make I, it does make it much easier to find things. So, okay. Whoops! There it goes. I dropped something. My little anti-static. Don't give me any static, okay? Just. Just let it go. Quit it. All right. I think we'll use one of these. If you see a stamp set that has just great, you like the font, it has solid normal sayings that you think you'll use a lot, that's, that's a good time to get one. One that you think you can use a lot. This one, okay, since I have this bow here, I'm going to put the stamp clear at the top so that the bow won't get in its way. And then you can have it forever. Oh, yeah, Kim, how was your... Did you have a wonderful time? Oh, Janet likes it on Friday night. Yay. Well, girl, I am happy to do it on Friday night because I hated doing it on Saturday morning. <laughs> so we have a winning combination. <laughs> That's good to have, right? Ooh, I just had another idea. Okay, so this will be fairly simple. But if, fine. 
Oh, good. You had a good time. Now I'm glad. I know that's a lot of work to get ready for, but... This is my little invention of a, my, that I use to emboss. This is nothing more than a piece of cardboard with some aluminum foil on it. Do you say aluminum, Lauren? And uh, then I have hot fun on it. So it's, <laughs> that's all it is. And the theory is, uh, and then put a wooden tooth, to, not toothpick, that'd be a heck of a toothpick. Um, a wooden clothespin. So you can hold that without burning your bot little hands. And then the theory is you can, while your heating tool gets hot, you can just heat up your aluminum foil and it should conduct, I don't think it's a big, big deal, but it should conduct the heat just a little bit. So I, I don't know if there's any benefit, except that it doesn't burn your hand and, um, it gives, you, it gives you a place to do it and not heat your mat up quite so much. Because sometimes mats will will warp when they get hot. And that's I've gone through many of them not realizing what was going why why they were warping. See my paper's warping there. So such is life. Such big traumas, right? I can live with it. There we go. So there we go. That's a pretty simple card. Oh, I'll fix it up. I'll put something under there. Aluminium. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Aluminium. I was just watching a few excerpts from My Fair Lady. It was the gin that done her in. What a delightful movie. Um, I don't know why I was... Oh, yes, I do too know why I was watching it. Let's see if we can add just a little shimmer to this pretty, pretty sun. I think it needs just a little bit of a little bit of love. Something that would get your attention if you were walking by in the store. Aluminium. And do you have a trunk or a boot in Australia? Or is that just in the UK? I love language <laughs> and, and I can never learn a foreign language well enough to appreciate it or ask in any kind of questions that are even close to interesting. So I just don't know. There. Okay. So I'll put something, I'll put this under, under the tile to straighten it up, straighten up. So that's one card. We got another card here. We're doing pretty well. And then I'll make a party card here. Yeah, baby, we're going to you say a boot. Okay, um, do you have a flashlight or a torch? I used to teach, um, work with kids with phonics and language and reading, and I would tell them these things, and they thought it was so funny. <laughs> mm, okay, yep, you, you, were, you landed too long there, Kim. Hey, you guys, um, you know what I need to do? You know, don't you, what I need to do? Yeah, let's do it. 1 through 24. Yep, 1 through 24. Get those numbers going in there. Only put in one number at a time. I got another card for you. I think this one we're going to do smile. Ooh, don't, don't do it, Kim, because um, it's got glitter. So a torch. You say torch. You say you're very British. Yeah, yeah, with long A's. So here we go. We got some numbers coming in. Yep, be safe, Kim. Kim listens to us a lot. She listens to a lot of our um, our classes online, or our one she's driving. Oh, you have a degree in language, fun and language. Oh, yeah, you and I are kindred spirits. Yeah. Oh, fun. I see lots of numbers. Oh, Christy, I didn't, have I said hi to you? It's nice to see you. Oh, there's that 18 with, yep, judy got hers. Fun. <laughs> yeah, don't do it this time, Kim. <laughs> Good deal. Now, now, the big question comes. It's time to spin. The big question is, will I be able to know what that big number is if it's over one? There's no guarantee. All right. 
Okay, super glue guys, let's do it again. Thirty-two? No, it's twenty-three. <laughs> twenty-three. Do we have a twenty-three? Kim. Oh no, we're gonna give her another one. She hates glitter. <laughs> I can't do that to her. Kim, I'm gonna give you another one so you don't get glitter. And since we're since I got the glittery one right here, let's go ahead and spin one more time. One through twenty-four. We got another spin coming. Oops, no, wait. I did I was too fast. Do it again. R redo, no, redo. We'll just use the same numbers. Oh, we'll just use the same numbers. I think that's a three. Did somebody get a three? No. Well, then we're gonna spin again. We'll use the same numbers, guys. Don't worry. You're not guessing. Yep, that's right. You should. T eleven. Did we get an eleven? Daddy, I just sent you something. We're gonna send you some more. Fun. Do you like glitter? I hope so. I hope so. But, but I did. Um, I keep a lint roller, and so if I have something like this, I, I often pick up whatever I can that's loose. Also, if I have um, sending cards to soldiers and there's even glitter paper, I do that so that there's no. Uh, renegade glitter going on so we don't have a problem so anyway okay well this one's Patty's this one is Kim's how fun and this one is Jan's so there we go we have two fun university students and one in waiting one pending <laughs> we just don't know oh yeah you love glitter oh good oh good well you we're all safe then we're all safe Okay, so let me review to, with you how to play, because I think you guys are pretty inspired. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters. Uh, you have 48 hours to do your project until midnight on Sunday. Um, see your, and put it on craftroulette.live. There's a submit button, just push that. See your work featured on next week's episode and on Monday's blog post. So uh, we love to share, share your cuteness and your creative endeavors. Remember, we are all about just being a, using that creative bone in our body and exercising a little bit, a little, little, little bit. And um, that's what we do here at Craft Roulette. Please share us. Um, I see some, so many nice new people that, that we get to meet, mostly because you guys have shared. So we do appreciate it. We would, if you have any questions about Fun University, my serious, <laughs> where I really have classes, uh, just let us know. We love to have, um, we love to be able to answer those questions because if you've got one, somebody else is probably going to have one too. So, but anyway, if you are brave, just go and stick your nose under the tent like a camel. And the first month's free. You really can't, you can't mess up. So, good. We're going to get some birthday cards out of Melody. I just know she's coming back. So thank you so much for joining us at the wheel tonight. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm looking forward to your submissions and seeing you next week. If I don't see you before, thank you so much. Kiss your brain. Love you. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.